Howdy folks, and welcome back to more PGA Tour 2K21. And we've got another rookie design competition course for you today. This one is called Codling Cabe GC, and it is by Jordy Boy 85 So let's have a quick look at the settings, see what we've got. Okay, the fairways are normal, the greens are normal, green speed's fast, time of day is dawn, and the weather is clear. Now, with a couple of the other courses we had, dawn and overcast, you'll probably see a difference here with dawn and clear weather. Uh, with the dawn and overcast, uh, a few years have mentioned it is pretty dark, but when the weather is on clear, it, it's absolutely fine. So, and let's have a look at the tees. Okay, we've got blue, white, and black. We're going off the black at 7,470 yards. Now, let's get into it. Okay, nice looking opening hole. I like the way the, the sort of trees on the left and right sort of just frame the, the whole perfectly to be honest right let's get on to the the old sky cam let's have a look very nice as as, as i said earlier uh, you can tell the difference straight away uh, this is dawn but it's got clear weather instead of the overcast mind you they've got quite a lot of clouds for for clear to be honest okay i tell you what let's just sort of head up into the sky do a slow pan around and see what we've got Okay, very nice. We've got some waterfalls over there. And again, as I said before, uh, with Arctic Fury bringing this sort of texture to all the designers, these uh, this dead tree texture you've got it over here. We'll have a quick look at this actually. Have a quick look at the waterfalls. Let's go down a little bit. Uh, the rock face there. I'm surprised it took so long, this long, for somebody to come out with that. It's just such a nice texture for rock, for a rock face. Really well done. Okay, nice waterfall system there. Very nice. Okay, let's get on to the course. Let's head back over towards the clubhouse. And we'll head down the first tee. Have a little zip around the course and see what we've got. Okay, clubhouse. Not a bad looking clubhouse. Yeah, you've got your driving range there. And you've got your little practice green. Oh, looks like Victory Lane Sports might be on the course. <laughs> With the pink car there. <laughs> okay, let's head down this first tee. Really nice plan. I like the sort of mountains in the background there as well. I like all the little little humps and bumps on the fairway. Again, the planning on this for a rookie design course, uh, absolutely fantastic. And I've said with all the rookie design courses so far, absolutely blown away this year by the, the quality of the courses. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's head over this way. Nice little water system he's got going as well. Nice bit of planting all the way around the water system. The route one looks pretty good as well. Look at this, very nice. Lovely. Now I did read through what he's, he's put down. There's not much of a story or anything like that. Oh, he says here, my entry into the TGCT a rookie design contest. The area of Codlin Cave is a beautiful little spot in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So a local businessman decided to build a golf course for locals and travellers. Now at the bottom there he says there's also an Easter egg at the local watering hole which my fellow Jewelies should enjoy. So we're going to have to have a look. See if we can find the local watering hole. So it's bound to be a pub somewhere. Oh this is nice. This little... This little area here. Got like a little sort of sandy area there. You've got a little beachy area over this side as well. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I like that. Let's head over. Got a couple of little towns dotted around, so there's bound to be a pub in one of them. And that'll be, I'd imagine, where the Easter egg is. We'll, we'll have a quick look, see if we can find it. That's nice as well. Look at that. What a beautiful picture. 
I'm going to take a screenshot there. I probably might not use that for my, my thumbnail though, but this would be a really nice green to take a thumbnail picture on. Get the flag in there. Look at that. That is really nice. Okay, let's see if we can see a pub. Let's see if we can see a, an Easter egg. Let's see a pub there. But there's a couple of little towns, as I said, when we were up in the sky there. There's a couple of little towns over there as well. There's one way up there. Let's head over this way. Yeah, the planting's looking really nice. Okay, let's head down here. Nice little planted area just down there as well. I'm kind of hoping when the, the new game comes out that they give the guys a, a lot more houses and things like that to, to work with. Better looking ones as well. Okay, let's head over this way. Ah, I think I can see it. There it is there. Let's have a quick look. Ah, there you go. You've got the blue star, and of course that is if any of the Geordies are from the UK. As a matter of fact, I think they actually brew it in America now as well. It's a Newcastle brown ale, the blue star. And you've got the black and white bars there from uh, the Newcastle United football team. Yeah, so there's a the Geordie Easter egg there. I've never, I never really liked Newcastle Brown Hill, to be honest, when I drank. I mean, I don't drink now. I haven't drank for, ooh, I can't remember the last time I had a drink. Probably my wedding, which was, what, three years ago or something like that. No, no reason for it. I just, yeah, just sort of gave up drinking. I've never been a big drinker, to be honest. But, yeah, I don't drink at all now. No alcohol whatsoever. Even the New Year. Uh, bringing in the bells. I sat with a cup of coffee. <laughs> I've probably done that the last couple of years, to be honest. Okay, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Looks like a nice course, again, for a rookie design competition course. Superb. So we've found the Easter egg. We've had a little look around. I like the way the... It's got some of the terrain just coming out of the water there as well. And again, lovely bit of planting around the water's edge. Very nice. Though those mountains are really nice. Very well done. Okay, let's just go around the water's edge here. And of course you've got a couple of little bridges, yeah, just bridging over the water there as well. Some nice steps going up one of the different tees, down onto the green. Or coming off the green, should I say, up to the next tee. So it looks like you're coming up this way, hitting off that tee, and then coming down this step. Oh, it looks like a nice little par three, this. Look at that. Very nice. And of course, you've got a little bit of sand down this area as well. Nice bit of rock work. Yeah, the plant is really nice, and the sun's out there as well. Look at that, lovely. Okay, I think we're going to head on to the first tee and get this started. Okay, so what do we have? First hole, 465 yards, three feet down. And again, lovely looking first hole. Let's see if we can hit a nice one off the tee. I never hit a nice one off the tee, very rarely. Oh, get in now, nice one. Perfect, off the first, lovely. And that is not a bad drive. Come on, get down in a little flat area for me there. 332 yards, not bad. A little bit of left to right. Oh, that wind just died. It was on three mile an hour. It has just totally died. Right, 141.15 up, so it's playing around about 146. All right, I think. Bring that all the way back. And we'll put a little bit of loft on there as well. Oh, slight slope. It's going to push it even more to the right. It should still be on the green. Gives a chance at the birdie putt. OK, 
Okay, green speed, 169. We've got a bit of a right to left then, left to right, just up by the hole. So let's see if we can get this close. Come on, turn. Oh, that's going to turn back in. Oh, I didn't put enough on it. I pulled it back too much there. A little bit short, but we'll take the par. Okay, not a bad start. Okay, hole two, par four, 471, 12 feet down. Again, great view off the tee. Drive up, ooh, 12 feet down. Will that run out from there? I'll tell you what, let's bring it back just a touch. Oh, again, nice, perfect. 97%, that's because I pulled it back just slightly because I didn't want to take the chance that it would run out there. Okay, well, we've got 152, 13 up, so it's playing around about 156. I think we should be good with the 152, since I always hit 101 or 102%. Oh, sugar. Big fast. It's going to be left of the green. That's going to leave us a little pitch up. Oh, tell you something what happened the other day. Bloody hell. Now, I'll probably... I might swear here a little bit, so be prepared. Let me just get this. Let's bring that back to about there. I'll try not to swear, but <laughs> it kind of goes in line with what happened. So uh, what was it, Monday? Monday morning, the missus gets up at six o'clock to go to work. I get up uh, like I usually do. I'll make her a coffee and stuff. Yeah, let me just take this. Oh, shh. Right, yeah, so I'll make her a coffee. She leaves about, ooh, about 20 to 7. So 20 to 7, it's still pitch black outside. I'm about ready to go back to bed. And the dog just sort of pricks his ears up and he starts growling. Then he starts barking. And then I hear all this commotion. And I'm like, what the hell? And I can hear the neighbor's voice. Wait a minute, let me take this shot. Okay, third hole, par 5, 583, 55 feet down. Let's see if we can get a nice one off the tee here. Yeah, not too bad. So I hear the neighbor's voice. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I hear all this shout. I'm like, I, well, I can hear like, phone the police, phone the police. So I looks out my window and I see my neighbor struggling with two guys. I mean, it's still pitch black. Uh, I, I couldn't actually see who it was, but I could hear his voice. I know his voice. And I'm like, what the hell? So I, I'm still in my pajamas. So I quickly fling on my bloody slippers, run downstairs, open the front door, runs out. I thought he's been jumped or something, mugged as he's left his house on his way to work or something. So, as I said, I promise that I'm still in my bloody pyjamas, pitch black outside. Uh, let me just take this shot. Okay, 252, 16 feet down. I think I'm going to drop it down to the, the five wood. Massive slope here. Right. Oh, bit of a slow. It's going to... Go over to the right. It looks like I might actually kick over to the right as well. Yep. It's not too bad though. Just off the off the green. So yeah, that's it. I runs outside. I was like, mate, you're right. He's like, quick, phone the police. I went, whoa, you're right. Because there's like two guys. He went, yeah, yeah, we've caught him. We've caught him. I went, what were you on about? He goes, effing pedo. I went, what? He went, effing, effing fucking pedophile. <laughs> I went, what are you on about? He went, he's been looking in the bloody windows at the kids for the last couple of weeks and we finally caught him. I was like, holy crap. So I runs back in the house, gets the phone. Uh, let me just take this little chip shot here. Uh, again, sorry for swearing, I didn't I meant to say effing, but I said the full word. Uh, so I jumps in, grabs the phone, phones the police and says, right, I says to the police, right, you need to send somebody quick. Uh, we've just caught somebody uh, peeking through the windows at kids and stuff like that. Uh, and by this time, they've got him up against my other neighbor's house. Let me just take this. So they've got him up against his porch, and the guy's still struggling with him. Uh, so that other neighbor comes out. So you've got me, the first neighbor, and the next neighbor all out in the street at bloody like quarter to seven in the morning. His missus comes out as well. Uh, yeah, I'm on, on, the, on the phone to the police, and I'm saying, right, you better send somebody quick. I says, there's, there's four guys out here with him, and if it escalates, the guy is going to get a hell of a kick in of what he's been doing. 
Right, let me just take the shot. Right. 198, 12 feet down. That should be okay. Oh, yes. Oh, we hit 102% now. Oh, that's not bad. That'll do. So, yeah, as I said, I said to the police, you better send somebody quick. And uh, they said, right, we'll send a quick response team out. So I goes over, standing there, and then the first neighbour who, whose um, voice I recognise, his missus come out. She's in tears. She's screaming. She's screaming at the guy, what the hell are you doing? Why are you looking through the windows at the kids? The kids are bloody terrified and all that. And this is Monday morning. And what's been happening? I didn't know. The neighbour never even mentioned anything about this to me. Um, this guy, apparently he's been around the estate for quite a while. Quite a few of the people... I've sort of like seen him. Uh, the other guy who I thought originally had like jumped my name, but it's not, it's one of his mates. Uh, he says um, he's got a friend who lives a couple of streets away from where, where I live. And he says he, she's got four little kids. The youngest one is like four years old. And he's been looking through their window as well. And she's absolutely, apparently she's absolutely petrified to leave a, a bloody house now. You know what I mean? So they actually caught him. He's, I mean, he's, young lad he's only like in his mid 20s 22 23 years old or something like that but what he's doing he's coming around during the weekdays uh, because it's still dark outside at six seven o'clock in the morning the kid the kids are up for school uh, getting dressed and some crap like that and he's looking through the windows at them uh, as i said this guy's na uh, the neighbor's missus come out uh, she's screaming and crying and I said to her, look, Hen, you better just go back inside. I said, we've got this. The police are on the way. And because she's screaming and crying, uh, his mate grabs the guy by the throat. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this. Par four. Come on. We should be able to get on here. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, because she's screaming and crying, uh, he grabs the guy by the throat and uh, it's ready to kick off. You know what I mean? I says to him, I says, look, mate, leave it. I says... If you hit him, if you do any harm to him, you're going to get done worse than what he's going to get done. So just leave it. And the other the other neighbour says, yeah, mate, just leave it. Just let the police handle it. So about five, ten minutes later, the police saw it turn up. And I'm like, right, I'll leave you to it. I'm off back to my bed. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I was like, blimey heck. A bit of a commotion on a Monday morning, six, uh, half, past, half past six, seven o'clock in the morning. I was like, Jesus. But yeah, this weirdo has been at it for a couple of weeks and they finally caught him. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm pretty, pretty glad that we actually caught the guy. Well, I didn't catch him, but as I said originally, I, I thought my neighbour had been jumped on his way to work or something. So I'd, I'd run out to sort of like help him. And the missus says to me, what do you mean you ran out to help him? I went, well, I thought somebody had mugged him. She went, yeah, what if you ran out and they're carrying bloody knives or whatever? I said, well, I didn't think of that. I says the guy's. I seen the guy struck on the floor with two people. I didn't realise one of them was his mate. Like, but yeah, he's a nice guy. So I sort of jumped out and thought, see if I could give him a hand. <laughs> right, let's get back into the golf here. Sixth hole, two hundred fifty yards, six feet down. Got a bit of wind against this here. And again, I do apologise for that little swear word I put in there. Oh, big slow. It's pushing it way over to the, the right there. That's not too bad. Oof. Nasty little kick there, right into the heavy rough. Right. So I think I'm going to actually go with a pitch here. Let's get it down to the sand wedge. Let's bring that all the way back. Oh, we've got 74 to 81% there. It should be okay. Oh, hit the pin. Go on, hit the pin. Oh, stop. Stop, 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 stop. That'll do it. Okay, we need to get this for the par. Go on, get in, get in. Yes, nice save there. I'll tell you what, I'm still playing God of War. I'm, I'm, I'm probably about, from what I've read and what happens, um, because when it first came out on, on PlayStation, I watched quite a bit of the story that I, I'm probably about 40% through it or something. What a game, though. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely loving the game. 
Ah, oh, that's crap. That's in the bunker. Oh, that's actually going to be short the bunker, I think. I should have aimed that way more left there. You need to concentrate a bit more. Right, what have we got here? 188, 29 up, so it's playing around about 198, maybe 200 with that wind. And we're 73 to 80 percent. Gonna have to go the hybrid. I don't think the hybrid's gonna make it up there, so we're gonna have to aim it over here. Just try and leave ourselves a nice little pitch up. Oh, I'm hitting a few slows. Oh crap, that's in there. Heavy stuff again. All right, let me just mute my mic. We'll have a quick drink. Okay. Got a little drink of iron brew that. No coffee tonight. All right. That's what I drink. Iron brew and coffee. Oh, a bit of a fast out. Look at the that stroke. Wow. Terrible shot. Even though it wasn't didn't land too bad. Alright. Yes, nice. Okay, eighth hole, par four. 415 yards, we should be able to go over this. If I don't hit a slow, let's see if we can hit a nice one. Oh, crap. That's what happens, you put something like that on the, on the hole. Get a little bit nervy, <laughs> just in case you screw it up. And of course I screwed it up. Right, nine iron, 73, 80%. I'm going to have to go up quite a few clubs here because I think I'm going to hit the crap on the way out. I'm going to go with the four iron. If this comes out clear, it's going to go way past the green. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to come out clear. That'll do though. It's on the green. Not bad from there, actually. Not bad at all. Oh, nasty putt. Right, what have we got? 70 feet and one foot down. Quite a big swing left to right. Let's take that pin out. Turning nice. It's going to pick up a bit of pace to here, though. Is it going to stop for us? Oh, I think that might go off. Come on. Yep, it's just going to trickle off and it's going to stick on the fringe there. So we've got a good chance of getting the chip. If not, it's a blooming bogey. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, little beauty. What a chip. What a save. All right, we've only got one birdie so far, so we're going to have to pick up a few. Come on. Bit lucky there. Right, par five. Let's see if we can do some damage here. Right, we need a nice one off the tee. Come on. Oh, crap. Come on, kick in. Kick, kick, kick. Kick to the left. Kick. Yes, come on. Turn, turn. Oh, look at that. Right on the edge of the thick stuff. 72, 79%. Uh, we'll just hit the full hybrid out here. Big slope right to the left. And that is not bad. I'll take that. Tell you what, I actually went on the um, driving range before I started. I was hitting quite a lot of blooming perfects as well. I don't know what it is. It just <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's the course itself or the courses that you play, but I see there seems to be a lot of disparity between the driving range 
and then on the course. I can hit a lot of perfects on the driving range. I come on at the course. I'm all over the bloody place. Right. Oh, there we go. Lovely. That should stop pretty quick. Get in there. Uh-oh. Oh, you f muppet. <laughs> right, come on. Let's even get another nice little chip here. Oh, it's pulled it fast. Pulled it to the left. Ah, par. Par on a par five. Right, 10th hole. 477 yards, 25 feet down. Oh, that's a nice looking hole. Look at that. Ooh, 25 feet down. Let's pull that back just a touch because that's going to run quite a bit, I think. Oh, boomer. Petting. Nice. Again, that view there, even that view there, really, really nice. Right, 163, seven feet up. Um, do, 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 163, 152. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with this, actually. Oh, bloody hell. Wish I could sort my tempo out, really do. But as I said, if I go on the driving range, I'm fine. As soon as I go on the course, it's all over the bloom place. Right, stick, come on. Ooh, looks like there's, I thought there was a little slope there. Right, need this for the part. Yes, another nice par save. Do not too bad. I mean, even though we're minus one, I've had a few par saves, a few little putts that weren't too bad. Right, 184, 32 down, plays around about 173-ish, 170, 161 with the eight iron. Yeah, let's go with that, I think. Come on, bring that back just a touch. Oh, yes. Go on. Go, go, go. Oh, look at that. That's not bad at all. We should pick up another birdie here. Hopefully. Nice. K2 under. K12 hole, par 4, 476. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Now, this is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Wednesday morning. It's what? It's half past three in the morning. So this will, I probably won't publish this till, I don't know, whatever. I wake up when I go to bed. But uh, on Twitter, I know it was North, uh, said that he was having a problem. He did a 4K video, and it was um, taking so long to process. Now, I've had that a couple of times. Let me just take this. Yeah, it seems to it uploads okay, but then, oh, I wasn't concentrating what I did there. Oh, a nice little jump forward, though. But yeah, it uploads okay. Uh, but then when it goes to process the HD and the 4K version, it takes forever. Uh, he's had that same problem um, yesterday. I've only had it maybe once or twice. If you just remember me saying, I was thinking about jumping back down to 1440p, but it's only happened once or twice. And I think the sort of pros weigh out the cons on this one because the, the quality that you record on 4K is just so crisp. Um, on YouTube compared to like 1080p and things like that. And I think it's uh, it makes the courses stand out a lot better as well. Right, 13th, par 5, 567, 18 down. Let's hit a nice one off the tee. Come on. 
Oh, that's not bad. Just off the perfect into the grey fast. Now can we get to the green in two? Ah, this is the 13th thing. This is the one I said that I wanted to take a, a screenshot on. Oh, look at that. 350 yard drive off the tee. Definitely going to reach green two. Let's pull that back to the four iron. And we'll bring that all the way down. A slight little bit of loft on there as well. Uh-oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I felt that one. I felt that one. <laughs> Oh, stay, stay, stay. Oh, oh, bloody hell, got away with that. He got away with that. Right. Okay, we're on the green. That's going to leave us a tough putt. Now, I'm going to take a quick a screenshot here. Let's just speed that up a bit. Quick screenshot for the thumbnail and turn the pattern grid off. Yeah, that looks, looks nice. Maybe that way. Let's have a look down this direction. Now, I still prefer this with the, the planting and the trees and the house is not in the background. Yeah, there we go. I'll do it. All right, I want to put the thing back on. Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough putt. Oh, bloody par five. Oh, it's a slope there. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, we've got another tough putt for a part. Can we get it? Oh, it's not bad, actually. Looked a lot harder from back there. Oh, pacey. Oh, yes, there we go. Another par save. Should have been a birdie, though. That approach shot was absolutely terrible. Right. Driver. Yeah, we should be good going down there. 14th hole, 476. Again, slightly into the grey faster, which is absolutely fine. Just over 300 yards. Okay, 165, 11 up. It's playing around about 169. Got that little bit of wind there as well. See what? Tiny, tiny touch of loft. That'll do. That'll do. Come on, turn. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stable. Oh, wow. Just missed. Again, another par. Quite a lot of pars, two birdies, no bogeys yet, which is good. 15th hole, par four. What have we got? 377, one feet down. Right. Again, slightly into the gray faster, but that should be absolutely fine. I like the sloping on some of these fairways as well. And again, all the little humps and bumps that he's got on the fairways. It's pretty good for rookie. A lot of these courses though, they don't feel like rookie courses. Oh, slight slow. I have hardly hit any perfects at all today. A lot of fasts, a lot of slows. Right, this looks like it's got quite a bit of a turn on it. Oh, oof, I was going to smash that. Oh, go on. Yes. What a putt. What a putt. Okay, three under. 
Okay, par three. Oh, it's par four. Nice. We should get a birdie here. We better get a bloody birdie here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm going to go with the driver, but I'm going to pull it right back. Oh, look at that, though. That's going to kick off that little side hill there. I'm going to kick off here. Push it over to the right. Oh, that could be dangerous. Hey, well, let's bring it in a little bit from the right. Oh, this could be dodgy. Oh, hold on. 294, 34 down, so it's playing 280 odd. Uh, I'm going to go with the three wood. Sod it. Don't fancy my chances with the driver there. No, I'm going to go with the driver. Let's bring that back to about here with the driver. I'm going to bring it in a little bit from the, from the right. Oh, this could go anywhere. <laughs> Oh, we get it perfect. 89%. Come on, come on, go on. Oh, is it going to hold though? Is it going to hold? Oh, that is not too bad. I will take that. It gives us a little chip, a chance at an eagle. Go. Get beauty. Get in now. Nice. That pushes right up to minus five there. Nice little eagle chip. Nice little reachable par four. Not a danger in it though. That water on the right. You've got that little sort of hill just on the side next to the green. That worked out pretty good. Okay, par three. 194, 37 down. Playing 130, uh, 182. 180. That should be okay. Ooh, that shouldn't be too bad. I put a tiny touch of loft on that. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, so close. So blooming close. I thought that was going to turn a lot more there, but we got it. Well, I've just seen your little stall up there that sells the, the pulled pork and stuff. Oh, I'll tell you what, I love barbecue sauce, right? Um, what I've been doing a lot lately, right? 18th hole, par 5, 569 yards, uh, 12 feet down. Right, a lot of the Americans will probably know what I'm on about. Right, I found a, a nice barbecue sauce that I like. It's called um, Sweet Baby Ray's, an American barbecue sauce. But what I've done, what I do every time I have it now, I had it tonight, I actually had um, like a pork chop and sweet potato fries. But what I do, I have that Sweet Baby Ray's and then I use uh, Frank's, it's called Frank's Original Red Hot Sauce. And I, I mix that in with the, the barbecue sauce, the Sweet Baby Ray's and mix it in. Oh, absolutely lovely. It's making my mouth water just thinking about it. Beautiful it is. Right, 257, 28 feet up. I love the Frank's original red hot um, sauce. <laughs> I don't like it on its own. But I like it mixed um, with a nice barbecue uh, sauce though. Oh, that is nice. Go on, get in there. Oh, that's going to turn lovely. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Oh, that could have been so good. Is that going to run on the green? No, it's going to stay on the fringe. So it looks like we're going to have to actually chip it up onto this little hill here. Just let the slope take it down. Ooh, I thought that would turn a lot more. But we're still there for the birdie putt. Come on. Ah, there we go. So there you go, guys. That is a Codlin Cape GC. And that is Jordy Boy 85's entry into the rookie contest. Very, very nice course. As with all the rookie courses that I've played so far this year, again, this year has blown every other year out of the war. All the courses have been absolutely fantastic, the ones that I've played so far. Minus six, give it a play. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.